Hello, everybody. My name's Gio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round one of the Recruit Flight Club Championship. Uh, if you haven't been following this series, it has been uh, one of our creations, and honestly, it's something that I... Uh, I I, I, I love it. So we've had four qualifying events, and depending on how you place, no matter whether you got zero wins or six wins in Swiss, you get to play in a championship-level event with players of your same skill level. So this is the recruits. This is anybody who got zero to two wins is playing today, right now, in this recruit championship. So what are we going to see out there? I don't know. Some people are saying maybe we're going to get a lot of jousting. Maybe we're going to get some crazy lists, but I know we're going to have a good time. I need to open up those Choose Your Champion lists because both of these lists can get into engagement real quick. I'm joined by my good friend, William Hagwood. Go ahead, break down those lists, and we're about to choose a champion. All right. Um, we have... Uh, wait, am I crazy? Are those names right? No, uh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. We got Andy Devlin uh, flying one of the few resistance in the tournament on our left. He's a choose a champion, bet one all. Uh, he's flying a bunch of the Fireball uh, Colossus Station Mechanics. Uh, we got two with Thread Tracers and False Transponder Codes. They're going to try to give locks to the friendlies and then jam the enemy as well uh three of them with dead man switch if they're destroyed they're gonna give a damage out to every ship at range zero to one uh we have one naked uh colossus station mechanic and then rounding out the list is uh one of my favorite pieces in resistance that's c3p rose uh rose tico who gets rerolls from uh allies in the attacking arc and C-3PO, that's going to let her either double calculate or coordinate uh, for a stress and a calculate, uh, which is super good. Uh, being able to barrel roll these uh, fireballs, get them into positions they wouldn't normally uh, have. They do have the evade action as well, so you can give them an evade. I forget, we'll have to ask a judge if it comes up, <laughs> if you could coordinate slams or not. Um, I think it's just when you activate now, though. So probably won't see any shenanigans like that. But you can coordinate a slammed person, though. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, the all of these Colossus Station mechanics have the explosion with wings. They're gonna, they have already received a face-down damage card. And after they perform a slam, they can expose that damage card to remove the disarm token you get from slamming. We see that all of them have slammed this first round. Uh, making their approach very quickly, trying to corner down uh, their opponents. On the other side, though, we have Ryan Burnett, flying uh, Separatist here, um, has three Nantechs, all named. That's uh, Chertek with Graviton and Predator. Gravitons says, while you defend, you may reroll one defense dice for each tractor chip in the attack arc. So that could be up to three rerolls because um, he has three uh, different Nantex there. Um, and also Predator for rerolls in their bullseye. Chertek gets a gets rerolls if the enemy is tractored. We have Burakret, the I-5, whose ability... Oh, all right, no shots, no shots. So close. Uh, yeah, Burakret's ability <laughs> is basically blank. So we'll just not worry about that. Oh, oh no, and, we got shots uh, right here. I think uh, we got it. Sunfax, Here we go. Sunfax build is also blank, and there's General Grievous as well, Daredevil and Pervium. Solus Swan, who's shooting right now, unobstructed, range three, uncontested because of those weapon disableds. Yep, that's going to be a three-on-three -three shot. Here we go. First dice roll of the weekend right here in the box. Yes, the dice box was on to start with. Crazy, I know, for Dion. Three hits to get going. Grievous looking angry. And Natties, Ooh, that's the way natties. we do it. There we go, natties. Flight Club. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's 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 a roller coaster of a ride right there. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
seeing your opponent roll roll the triple hits and you just natty out all right well uh, blue gets out of there no problem and right. uh so so let me so yeah finish grievous, up <laughs> <laughs> it's just grievous uh like so for most of the time uh, in this matchup anyways uh sun and intertex abilities actually all the nantex abilities are pretty much blank yep so don't worry about them just gravitation and um, predator they require the enemies to have friendly staff calculates and enemies to have tractors which just isn't going to happen in this matchup uh, but then general grievous has the impervium plating super good can throw away ship uh, face up ship damage cards uh, things like direct hit structural damage just gone two charges to just throw them away super good gives a uh with the solace one title uh, giving two extra hull, improvement played, and has a maximum of nine health on Grievous if you throw two direct hits. Uh, surprisingly good. Uh, also has Daredevil. General Grievous sometimes has problems uh, maneuvering around because of he likes his linked actions, his boosts uh, into focus, barrel roll into focus, but is limited by the two banks and three forward of the blues. So Daredevil is a way to get him up and around uh, behind the enemy where he wants to be uh, to get his rerolls when attacking outside of a friendly Zark, or excuse me, outside of the defender Zark. I think we have, he's got a good lane to use it right here, right? Like three forward, hard one in behind these guys, kind of turn towards Rose. Yeah, um, uh, that is, I, I like I like the positioning of Rose, right in the middle, right, right in, in the whole mix here. Um, mm -hmm. Real quick though, I got I gotta gotta call it out. We had some more subs while we were doing our intro. Shout out to the one, the only Isofane uh, for dropping. I, I think it's fifty. I missed the I missed the it chat. Twenty five. It was twenty five. Twenty five from right. Isofane this time. Yeah, he he just slowly slowly right. Uh, drop drop twenty five, and then we also had uh, a couple of other friends join in the sub train. We had uh, I made this. To, I made this to sub to Gold Squad, donated uh, five subs to the channel. Also, Silver Fox and Ratty66 and Nano Antonio uh, piling on here, getting us to 150 to start. We're 50 out from unlocking all the stretch pri all the stretch goals after the first round. Okay, well. Uh, it, <laughs> th thanks, guys. It really does warm my heart. I'm glad, I'm glad we... Uh... I mean, we put on the tournaments because we love X-Wing, but um, we're always glad to see that community support for us as well. Agreed. 100%. All right, Will, choose your champion. Oh, I'm already bet uh, for Andy here. Um, I you regretted it after <laughs> I about regretted it after <laughs> that, that uh, pot shot from Grievous, but <laughs> hope, luckily that blue Colossus, uh, Dewey out there, they're all named... Uh, we got Louie, Huey, and Dewey, and we also got Webby, Launchpad, and Scrooge. I uh, love it. Uh, <laughs> nice. Well, here we go. We're getting things moving. Uh, there's one minute and change left on the Choose Your Champion clock if you're participating. And uh, those of you who are watching this later on YouTube, want to remind you we're live every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And right now in the comment section down below, choose your champion before you get to the end of this game. Have Put an argument down there. Let us know why do you think a person will win and watch to the end of the game and let us know were you right or were you wrong why? What happened along the way? Let's have a discussion in that comment section down below. All right. Now for our live people, thank you so much. Right now we got 63% of the field uh, right now giving Andy the favorite. Is it because he's the crazy man who brought a bunch of uh, fireballs to the recruit championship, or do they are they really are they believing in the numbers? Because I mean, hyperspace has been uh, primarily a lot of the successful squads do have a uh, m multiples of a generic that's low initiative that you can uh, you can use that to your advantage, right? You, you got more guns. Exactly. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I really believe in the Tracer missiles. Um, really powerful pieces here. Um, and I'm one of the few missiles that um, the Kalasha Station mechanic without a target lock action, uh, one of the few missiles they can actually use, the other one being Prockets. Um, we got a bit of a bumps here. Um, Scrooge flipped his card 
um, after a little bit of a slam there. It's a stunned pilot. No big deal. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, that's a permanent card, so you won't be able to slam uh, very much more. Yep. Did you get your white hand out of there? The yes. white hand of doom? It, no, it was never there. No, you didn't. It's no, not there. It's didn't. not there. It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that uh, for anybody who's uh, asking what it will mean about flipping the card, that's the explosion with wings uh, ship ability during setup. Every one of the Colossus station mechanics were given a face down card. That's why they're starting at five hull, and you can choose to flip that damage card in order to get rid of uh, one of those disarm tokens. So you do end up suffering whatever the critical damage is on there. And in this case, they got that stun pilot, which will go ahead and, uh, and put that animation on the screen so you guys can see what is stun pilot. It is th probably the best crit you can get <laughs> in the sense that mm. most, most people, most people can avoid running over the obstacles for additional damage. Most. Uh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, do, we did see General Grievous there uh, do what I thought he would, which is come forward and heart Daredevil back in. He's going to get his free rerolls now, most likely a ranged one shot if he wants it as well. Uh, we did see Rose coordinate on that uh, stunned pilot one, a focus. And we have a bit of a kill box setting up here, and the Nantex are not having it. They are uh, evacuate, evacuate. Um, that's, uh, Chertek floating around the outside, was able to take the tractor and rotate the turret. You have Brewer Cat coming in here, already in a decent spot, um, but still has three or four arcs on him. And here we so go, we're getting into there. To that engagement here pretty soon. Now, that, that Gravitic Deflection is something that we don't see very often. Uh, it's mm -hmm. honestly it's the first time I've seen it on the table during this championship series. Uh, being able to reroll that additional defense die uh, for each tractor ship in the attack arc, uh, but without having um, what's uh, ensnare right. So basically, what yeah. you're doing is you're hoping that the Nantex stay together and they mm -hmm. can use each other as defensive rerolls. Yeah, and we see here both uh, Sunfac and Chertek. Uh, they're they're the ones on the outside. Uh, so they, they're taking the tractors because they'll most likely be range three anyways. And then if they do want to focus in on Brewer, who's at closer range, hopefully he will get one or two rerolls depending on uh, how many Nantax are in the arcs then. Uh, looks like Sunfax is going to start us off with a focused turret attack here. Two on three. Here we go. <laughs> Two dice rolled. Hit crit. Starting it. Let's go. I'm telling you, these red dice ready to go today. And we got one evade in there. Has the focus available. Yeah, you got to spend it here. There's not a good guarantee that you're going to do a lot of damage. Especially mm -hmm. now that you know that uh, Sunfax in arc. That means that Brewer Crit is going to have a reroll. So... Uh, good positioning uh, by the by Ryan here with the Nantax. Didn't they ju didn't just accept the joust in with the uh, fireballs. Mm -hmm. Should be a range one if he's. He must be shooting green, who was range two, trying to get some focus fire, strip the focus token maybe, but mm -hmm. it didn't look like it happened. All right, so going on what looks to be the green uh, yeah, the mechanic here. Yeah, trying to get some good focus fire in. Hopefully Grievous can put out some real damage with nope. his rerolls. Another hit crit. Here we go. One evade, and that, but again, has the focus available. Yeah, I think yeah, use it while you got it. Spend. Uh, these are not the uh, only red and yellow are the uh, thread tracers carriers. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're really the only ones that need to keep their focus. Otherwise, spending all the time. There we go. Grievous with the big shot of the round. Four dice, two rerolls. Get them. And two hits, two re-rolls. Uh, 
And was able to All convert right. for an additional one. Sounds good. That was just perfectly average there. Uh, and finds two damage onto green. There you go. That's going to be half um, points. Mm -hmm. First point scored yeah. of the game, 0 to 14. Yeah, they're, the costs are a little strange because you have five health, but you're halved at only two. Yeah. I mean, the way I look at the six is it's bonus. <laughs> it's bonus. It's, it's, it's like this I mean, is this is this is not actually here. Just so you know. <laughs> no. If you want to unlock that, you got to pay for the repair droid. Exactly. We got a couple more subs. Thank you, Wallace of House Wallace, and uh, Danko Wiskin. Good morning to you, Danko. We're getting some good X wing already. Looks like we're looking at. A thread tracer, and this one doesn't have any uh, other Nantaxes in the attack arc, so no rerolls. And it's going to reduce the range bonus die as well. So it should be three on three. Focus on focus. There you go. And nothing there. Ooh, that hurts. He's got the focus. He's going to spin for one. Looking for a blank out here, or at least strip the uh, focus token. Here's the roll, and got the evade. Oh, easy. Turns out it was nothing the whole time. Um, sorry about that. I did notice that Nightbot is not set up right now with the current list. We'll get that done here in a little bit. Yeah, let's refer some shots here. Someone called, uh, I think it was... Oh, let's finish up the shots first. On the sun fact. Hit and eyeball. No focus mod here. This is the one that bumped. Easy evade. <laughs> and we got range two going into the yellow Nantex. And not able to do anything there. Spent its focus earlier on defense. So, Ryan able to get out of this clean. Pretty solid. Um, still has a couple of other fireballs left to go, but looking pretty, especially the fact that you still have those Nantex being able to hold on to those focus tokens. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, this looks like the last shot here. Not, I mean, this is four dice reroll or three dice. I think I would actually go against Sunfack here. I don't think it's going to matter too much. Only one hit. Two of AIDS. Um, so, mm -hmm. um, I'm actually going to uh, direct this. This is a question that was asked a bit ago, but I didn't forget about it. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it was Atticus asking about or questioning the combination of false transponder codes and thread tracers. Uh huh. And uh, being able to. I, I see the thought process maybe that if you that they might just spend their token on defense to try to prevent the thread tracer from hitting, but then you still jam them at that point. Uh, like you still had some effect even, uh, when you shot the thread tracer, even if it didn't result in exactly you know, the target locks and all the jams and things. Like, uh, the... like force, forcing the play around it gets you the same exact result. Mm -hmm. And I think it actually provides them, uh, while they don't have a target lock action, so they're only target locking with the thread tracers, um, it actually provides them some good defense against things like uh, proton uh, torpedo carriers, mm. mm -hmm. um, other, other ships who... What do I want to say? Uh, like a thread. Well, I guess a, another thread tracer could choose who target locks, like in what order. Right. But it has some defensive capabilities uh, to get them to stay alive longer um, so they can get that tracer missile off. I think it's a great combination, to be honest with you. I love I, tracer missiles. I agree. I, I'm, I'm glad uh, that they're in. <laughs> they're in X-Wing right now. Uh, <laughs> may, may, maybe we can debate the points another time, but I think they are good for X-Wing right now. 
All right, so the lists, exclamation point, list command should be updated for all of our meta analyzing people out there. I know you guys like to look at those, uh, look at those lists. You can get it there. I also saw some people in the chat uh, commenting that they they're really a fan of the. Um, uh, of the formatting here with the different championship levels. Uh, and I'll be honest, mm -hmm. I was talking to the players before this, and, uh, you know, I'm on the fence about whether or not we would do something like this again. Like, the, I, I will say, Will, like, the data is conflicting, right? It's conflicting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, viewership-wise, people have been watching. The, the people are interested in in the games. You know, it is a tournament. People like really watching the, the narrative side of the tournament. Who ends up on top? What was the meta like? Um, participation right. was, though, it was a little bit down, though. Uh, I mean, not actually a little bit. Actually, significantly down from something like... Uh, Galaxy. So, if this is something you guys want to keep 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 seeing, just like keep keep it in my ear. I'll tell you if, if you guys let me know enough, I will probably just do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you uh, have the advantage of um, multiple kinds of tournaments. Uh, sure. Space Jam, more of an exhibition, single uh, mm -hmm. tournament style. Uh, the Galaxies, which is a lot of events culminating into a single championship. And then Fight Club, uh, which is multiple championships um, based on level. So, um, like, that's, that's the reason we diversify, uh, yep. is to get options for everybody. Yep. And I will tell you, the next evolution of this championship series, I've already thought about it a little bit. I got some ideas. We'll see how things go. But here's the idea, all right? Oh, we're going to get a little... Oh, what, yeah, what do we I got like going? Trying, trying to block Grievous, but okay. also get around the rock. That's a twofer. <laughs> nice. I like it. Um, so one of, one of the things we're anticipating right now is potentially simply doing uh, like expedition level of it, kind of taking Space Jam and... Uh, taking Space Jam and the Flight Club Championships and kind of merging them in, in a single path, you'll see. We'll see if it works out. We'll talk more about <laughs> it later. But these uh, these fireballs are converging. It looks like they want themselves a little taste of General Grievous. Yeah, they're coming in uh, real good here. Ooh, that might not block that two bank from Grievous now, though, uh, where Rose is sitting. wonder if she would attempt a bear roll or... Oh, it gets yeah. over with the bank. Here we go. Two banks. Oh, she just hard hard turned and kept her stress. I see what that yep. was now. So Grievous was able to clear that stress. Two bank is uh, the mm -hmm. banking blue maneuver on those Belba Labs. Has a lot of choices here. Could focus barrel roll to get out of a couple arcs and still end up with a uh, pretty solid range one shot. Yeah. I mean, I think you kind of have to mm -hmm. but yeah he doesn't mind kind of being in the scrum as well because he's taking up space here i mean who's really shooting at him nobody uh, well i guess i guess i guess rose rose with the three dice yeah uh, mono, high, heavily modified attack there um i think the problem right now for andy is that he doesn't this round he will lose out on the threat of thread tracers yellow had to go through a rock and uh red had to talon roll yep well he took he took a pretty aggressive route you know it looks like he was trying to maybe catch himself he, some nantext or an over aggressive grievous yeah i mean he just with these fireballs you just need to keep the pressure on for as long as possible you're most likely going to lose one or two. Um, we already have Green here hurt a bit. And Green's the one who bear rolled away from his friends is, uh, and is now range one of both Grievous and Turtek. So he's got that dead man switch primed. Remember, after he's destroyed, each other ship at range zero to one suffers a damage. So he'll, he'll get his. Mm hmm <laughs> Now it looks like that was a tractor bear roll. I think that might have actually taken away Chertek's shot there. And Ooh. he landed on the rock. Oh, they got uh, the pinpoint, but I don't think he can pinpoint forward, though, because of Green's position, 
which means he'll have to either sit on the rock, bad idea, or a tractor beam and hit the rock again to get over it. And we have a damage. Oh, oh no. no. Brewer. Brewer. Uh, all right. So pinpoint, like you said, pinpoint potential barrel roll to get a shot here, uh, or at least to be yeah. less. I think you I think you got to. Rotate it to the front. At least you get a shot at green before you. Before you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, before you go. <laughs> But I believe he should have to uh, roll it again because of the template going over it. Yeah, uh, yeah. And here's a roll mm -hmm. again. Safe right, there. He's, he's safe. 50, 50 50 chance. So only takes the one. Has a good shot now. Graviton, deflection, double re rolls. And Sunfrack here didn't hard one. I thought the hard one was going to be an easy out for him. Mm -hmm. Three banks over the clown. This is really aggressive play. By these Nantex. All I right. I mean, they can't they can't shoot us all. I think. <laughs> rest us here. All right. So no um, strain there. I mean, of course the I mean, yellow flew through a rock and a red talon rolled too. So maybe he didn't expect them to be there. Uh, but uh, plus he's got the graviton deflection rerolls from the other Nantex too. So it's not like, you know, like defensiveless. First of six rounds today, yes, sir. Yes, 100%. All right, and we are now at engagement. You can see Sunny has some options there at range one. You can go after blue with a focus. Uh, he does not have yellow, or he does have yellow? He does have yellow at range one as well, and that one doesn't have a focus. I think you go there. Yeah, that's the Thread Tracer as well. Mm -hmm. Rose is going to have two rerolls, even in the bullseye arc, which is super funny to me. That's not normally how that happens. <laughs> that, uh, that if you choose those very specific weapons, uh, you, there's less friendlies in the attack arc for Rose. Yep. But not today. Not today, <laughs> yep. So so that's, that's a tough decision. Um, so he is going at Rose. He's decided... and he is a power piece in this list. Yep. So I, I can see that. It just feels bad because it's only 30 points. Like, it's a good 30 points, but it's only 30. <laughs> All right. Good. You got one hit, one crit. Here's a reroll. Oh, yep. strong Predator. Yep. It only ends up with two. But they're both going to stick, and that's going to be a shield. No, she's, she's Rose. Oh, uh, she's Rose. two other chips in that bullseye. Sorry, Sorry about that. No, Do it again. Attackers, Ark. Doing bullseye. All right. So just loses the shield. Plink. Me and John. Me and John on it. <laughs> Rose is Rose is a really weird ability because uh, yeah, it, it's attacker's arc, not her arc, which is very strange. Because exactly. sometimes is sometimes her arc, but not always. This is a range one bullseye attack. Oh, just Ooh, one crit. Oh, just one. Feels bad. So much, Which... so much eyeball. Ooh, and the predator doesn't hit either. One crit. What else we got? We... All right, squiggles out of it. We're fine. That's a, that's rough for Brewer. Uh, Turtek already had his arc empty to the inside. As a note, you can't pinpoint and keep your arc. Mm -hmm. uh, so they had to swivel to the front there. Oh, here's Grievous. He might be able to get to get something good going with Grievous here. Does have uh, does does not have Rose. Only had Brown and Pink. Brown. He will get the rerolls on Brown. So there's there's the target. Uh, Brown's also hurt because well, not hurt. I guess they're all I guess they're all hurt. <laughs> But Brown has a crit, I guess. All right, hit All right. crit. Yeah, it goes for the range one. No rerolls on pink. And yeah, gonna go ahead and go spend aggressive. the focus. Yep. Yeah, the other shots did not go very well. So, gonna go for it. Two evades here. Natty's pink baby take, takes a single crit. And we got blinded, blinded. pilot. Ooh. So they're not going to be able uh, to modify. 
Yeah, because it has a focus. You can only modify with the force, and of course, that's not a force using pilot. So, out of luck there. The commotion in the background is Will's dog. She she's oh, still my. still awake <laughs> in the morning. Uh, I'm sure she'll calm down here in a little bit. What's the commotion? Come on, when I got your little bed set up. Get over here. <laughs> yeah, she's tap dancing. All right, so let's see what. Go. Just let her sit on your lap. That's what she wants. You know that's what she wants. Yeah, that's what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, here we go. Rose, time to dish it here. Going range one on Sun Fac. It is one of the more expensive pilots in this list at 51 points and has no mods whatsoever. You got two hits. Uh, he's got deflective rerolls. Three raids, though. It's just natty. Just natty. Uh, someone was asking him about, I think this was K-Fool. Uh, why did he check the rerolls before picking the target? Uh, you are correct. That's not normally how it's done. But what can he do? Two hits. Two evades. Oh, no. Some fact takes an aggressive choice, and he's getting away with it so far. Mm-hmm. He's still got, this is, I think, two more rerolls he has on this shot. All right, and remember, Gr crit. All right, he did not have to use Graffitic Deflection even <laughs> one time. So no, remember, I, uh, just a note about Graffitic Deflection, it's from the attack arc, similar to Rose. They, mm -hmm. they, the uh, the mechanics are, are very similar. So you see that the Colossus mechanic there has a tractored ship, Brewer Cret, in the arc, even though he's shooting at Sunfok. That, here we go, Gravitic Deflection yep. Trigger right here. One, one tractored ship in the arc equals one reroll, even if it's not the one that's defending. And the crit does stick here. And we got a loose stabilizer. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Loose stabilizer. That's my least favorite crit, man. To get after you execute a non-straight maneuver, suffer one hit and repair. That's forcing you into uh, into locking in a straight maneuver. Do you mean like least favorite, like you don't like it in the game, or least favorite because it's rough? Like hard to deal with. All righty. Here's the reroll, Graffitic, and got out of it. Strong. Graffitic. Uh, showing, its, showing its value here. Mm, All right, range same. one or range three on Brewer. I think I'm taking the range one. Yep, all day. And Grievous does not have any defensive tech here. Got the three dice. Spend for three. Ooh. He's blinded. Oh, he's blinded. He Lies. He can't. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I got so excited. Would have been, been some good damage. Um, if he could see. I mean, yeah, you go for the one without the focus. Yep. One hit. Let's see if you can push it through. Oh, Ooh, got the double Gravitic here. There we go. Just do it again. I'm the Boba Fett now, but does it get anything? Oh, no. That's half on Brewer. One from the Rock, one from that Green's attack, and that should be the last of the round. Mm-hmm. All I right. I expected that to be a lot bloodier. I'll be honest with you. I thought, I thought at least a, a Fireball and a Nantex would be dropped that round, but... Yeah, I mean, because with the number of arcs no. that were on Sunfok there, it, it like you you were pretty sure that he was going to take some damage, but those greens, they uh, yeah, they they did their job. <laughs> hot greens, gravitics, uh, carried them through. I mean, the the fireballs didn't have their uh, classic focus token or any of the tracer missile um, locks, so um, a fairly weak offense all all around. We saw a just a one on rose, one on pink mm -hmm. uh, this round as well. And now we're now we're in the scrum. <laughs> yeah, oh, let's this turn. <laughs> this turn is going to be really really interesting. Uh, yeah. These these fireballs, they of course they have the slam. 
They, they have the slam. Mm -hmm. uh, so they oh, can. They, have they got hard ones. Slam. They only have talon rolls, I believe. Yeah, so. that's exactly what I was going to mention. Mm -hmm. Like some people mm -hmm. might be looking at yellow and, and blue, saying, "Oh, just K turn them there." They can't. They don't have the no. option. So no, I mean, they might be stuck just hard one in. Yep. And uh, following Brewer, I think you Brewer is now the target, right? Mm -hmm. um, you have to uh, take one of them off the board, uh, right? Because you can't just if you just leave him floating around. They have turrets, like they they'll just keep peppering attacks in on you. Um, but uh, so here's the question for you: that loose stabilizer mm -hmm. you're concerned about. Uh, what does that mean for uh, Sun Effect? Probably not just taking it, right? Because uh, honestly, you don't want to just have yourself for no reason. Looking at the current positioning, uh, if if Andy can do some tactical bumps, he could end up getting some shots on a Sun Fox straight maneuver. But mm -hmm. if if you kind of do the the expected, if like blue and yellow end up going past Sunny and kind of uh, doing a slam to try to get back in the fight, same thing with uh, with brown and uh, and red. You're kind of going through that gap between the cloud and the rock you could end up in a spot where sunfa can end up doing something like a two forward and have either only one ship in front of him or maybe that one ship he ends up bumping into and not uh having to get shot from it anyway so mm -hmm. you, you could end up absolutely clean from the loose stabilizer if i'm sunfa i think i want to see if i can uh I, i'm probably dialing in the five straight to be completely honest to see if i can yeah. be out of range out of arc and be able to flip that loose stabilizer with my action yeah, and so that was that was basically what I was trying to think of. Like, do you take the two forward and try to get like a good bullseye shot again, or do you just five forward out of there and just accept it, or not yeah. accept it, but just risk risk it to uh, to try to stay alive? Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna see uh, all the dead man switch ones. So that's uh, everybody that's but Brown. Yep. So green, blue, pink, brown. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Green, pink, or so blue, green, and pink. I think they are going to crash the middle here where Grievous is, mm -hmm. where there's uh, the highest chance of Nantex being range one, and then most likely the other ones don't need to do as much. They can kind of linger, right? Even, um, uh, even something like yellow could three forward and then Talon roll slam. If you wanted to, to try to get some space there. It's really hard to calculate what they're doing. Because they do have, like, hard ones. Like, they could just hard one, slam hard one. Like, they're surprisingly unpredictable. Yep. Yeah, I'm... Hmm. Yeah, this turn's going to be interesting. And one of the things with having uh, watching a player with so many ships is, you know, we we can kind of send him down an assumed path, but you, you you change one of the objectives of one of those ships, and they could all potentially be going in a different place. So yeah, I, it's I it's mean, a complete wild card. Do, do you do you spread out? Do you trying to go for specific blocks? Oh, here we go. Well, we got some tactical bumps going. All right, so purposely so, bumping into Sunfog, purposely bumping mm -hmm. into the uh, red and blue fireballs. They are hard wanting, looking like they're going at the uh, the Nantex, who might be coming through the rocks on the top left corner. Yeah, that's that is aggressive and going for a block. It seems with the pink fireball on Grievous. Mm -hmm. Uh, the grievous yeah, like two or three straight looks like it's it's likely because the two bank puts you in front of that rock so you probably weren't gonna do that mm -hmm. all right let's see what we right. end up getting here I mean it has daredevil but like so could two bank and then daredevil in but most likely yeah we're just gonna take the outside lane and then maybe sleep the round afterwards here uh, green staying in that dead man switch position though <laughs> trying to get some blocks He's yelling kill me. <laughs> Kill me! Kill me so I can hurt you! It's uh, very hard to block the Nantex. Ooh, keeps the stress hard too. Okay. Um, that is an like aggressive play. Uh, but it is hard to block the Nantex. Their pinpoint tractor array, uh, the thing we keep talking about, them taking tractors and then rotating their uh, turret arc. 
Uh, that does not require them to fully execute the maneuver. So if you do block into them, there's a small chance, well, maybe not small, but there's a chance that they will just barrel roll off of you, rotate their turret, and then get their shot on you still. Uh, notoriously difficult to deal with. Oh, and just lines Look. up both of them here. Whoa, Skipping nice. over green. I said, now nah, we're good, green. We're good, fam. <laughs> Hop, a skip, and a jump, baby. All right. And gonna we move have, it on over. He's coming in. Uh, I think that dodges Blue's arc. Um, and then they're primed and ready to try to take down Rose here. See what Sunfact decides to do. Oh, yeah, getting out of there. Crap straight. Do you stay for the shot? Mm. I don't think anybody's shooting at him. Well, he did the oh, five. He cleared, the, cleared the loose stabilizer. Yep. I mean, that's that's exactly, exactly what I wanted. That uh, that's exactly yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah, I was just thinking about like a pinpoint or something. But no, you don't really need to. Has a shot. No, yep. know where you need to be. Keep it simple. <laughs> Here's a range one attack and got him. Rewarded. Ooh. Hit, hit, crit. Going into the pink fireball. And that's only a single evade. Hit, crit sticking into there. We're at half point and a little bit more. Already has a bind, blinded pilot. What else we serving up? Panicked. Panicked. So it's going to leave that uh, dead man switch guy with... Just two health remaining. Uh, but he's in a good position to just keep um, all three of these Nantex honest, if you want to call it that. Because mm -hmm. um, they that's why I originally had voted for Andy here, because uh, a good dead man switch uh, is very, very powerful against these low health Nantex. All right, sure. Now, up next. a quick a quick note, uh, as said by our chat here, if Pink had stayed, if the Pink Fireball had stayed, he would have avoided that damage. Because he chose mm, to barrel he, roll. He would have Ch blocked uh, Sunfac back behind Rose then and mm -hmm. would have been in Bullseye anyways. True that, true so, that. May, maybe not. Or at least would have avoided the uh, being able to clear the loose stabilizer. But uh, hit, crit, crit is what got rolled. A single evades. Got a couple friendlies there. So go ahead, re-roll that eyeball and see what you get, Rose. And she is taking a single crit, able to convert on the single re-roll. Uh, so ends up taking the crit then. Hmm... Yeah, there's yeah. question in Rose again. It's weird. Structural damage. Well, those oh. defensive rerolls are going to be a lot less valuable oh. on rolls now. Yeah, because uh, Grievous is in a prime position to take advantage of that. Now, he only has the rerolls. I'm kind of uh, flat last round. I'm going to see if Brewer... Finish. Uh, Chertek can finish the jump here, two on one. Yep, I, I, you got a good chance here, especially those rerolls are a lot less valuable, right? You know, you can only get mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. I'm potentially thinking about mm. going range one. See, the thing is, that if he kills Ow. that Colossus Station <laughs> mechanic, you yeah, got that Dead Man switch coming. Oh, well, see, maybe that's the thought process. Get it down to one and then kill it at range two later on. Oh, you rolled too many hits. Oh, ah! no. Oh. Just blank out. Blank out, Green. Accept it. Oh, what oh is he it? got the one of eight. Yeah, it is one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how would I? Oh, I would have just, yeah, accepted the death. All right. So like. anybody who maybe is not following that, Dead Man Switch uh, reads on that green fireball. After you are destroyed, each ship, regardless whether it's enemy or friendly, at range zero to one, suffers one damage, which means that if Chertek had destroyed uh, that green fireball that most likely uh, for sure Turchek and most likely also Brewer Kret would be taking an additional damage there. Uh, absolutely mm -hmm. worth it. Especially mm -hmm. when you have so many ships. Yeah, we'll see him get into position next round to make those choices real hard for the Nantex. 
We got two hits and an iron ball here. Gonna reroll him to try to get uh, the third hit there, which will put Rose down. Uh, three hits on one evade on a two hull ship equals dead. Yep. She gone. <laughs> yeah, nothing you do about that, Rose. Um, but, she, I mean, Rose doing her job, that's what's so powerful about her is that, uh, especially with C-3PO, the tools that you have, like if no one's shooting at you, you just coordinate all the time, can double modify your offense. If people are shooting at you, you can double calculate, get uh, multiple chances at double modifying your two agility. Makes Rose surprisingly tanky for just a four health ship out there. Mm -hmm. Real quick, we have any... Uh... We ha we have anybody out there knows where the where where my my call for he gone and she gone come from? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody know? Is it the reference? I does it, it have to do with the gas station? It does not. No. That's why I heard it. He must have got it from the same place as you. Mind sp mind spike. Yes, correct. The White Sox announcer, Hawk Harrelson. Correct. <laughs> There you go. They got it. <laughs> Candy Clarinetics, uh, Clarinetics wins with the name there. <laughs> All right. Uh, on to the fireballs. Do it. Rose is gone. Um, I mean, you have, a, you you have, go. have some, pro some good shots here. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, what? That's crazy. You go for the hurt one, right? Uh, I, I'm surprised as I'm, well. I he, don't know the choices here. Oh, no, he's going for range one. I think he oh, just okay. dinged it. <laughs> I was going to say. like uh, he's, he's like, I'm are, not shooting that are you one. you be shooting the tracer? This is a tracer missile. Oh. Okay. Um, Just got the gravitic. So mm -hmm. double reroll here. Yep. Uh, doesn't get it. Uh, locks all around against Chertek. I mean, that's. I find that a little bit strange. You could have gotten Brewer Cret down to one. I, I, I think it's because there's only one more ship shooting at Brewer, and there's two ships shooting at Chertek. Uh, so. Trying to get those the the resources of those locks uh, to be more valuable with Chertek being going to hopefully be on the board longer than Chert, uh, the one that's already halved. Hopefully those locks will stay around longer. Um, plus sets them up for like I said that uh, like the benefit of Green Louie not exploding in the dead man switch is he now he has a range one modified shot. So um, interesting play there. I, I I know the I had the gut reaction too of like, oh, you just take the the hurt one, but right. doing some setup plays here, trying to think long term. Uh, got two eyes, and blue gets to keep the lock by uh, spin. Just the focus. spin the focus. And here comes a roll. Only gets one re-roll mm -hmm. from the gravitic and. Able to get one. I mean, he's got to focus. You got to spend. Yeah. Yep. Got two spins. So, ends up with a single damage. Okay. Spread the damage around a little bit on these Nantaxes here. We'll see if Green, who barely gets that arc, uh, can make up for it here. Locks coming in clutch. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait. What happened? Uh, false transponder. Right? Uh, yeah, but he spent the lock. When he. Uh, that's when he, true. When he set up the locks. False. That's true. Uh, well, yellow's false transponder goes away. Yeah, both of them do. Just so as you bit. realized it, Dion, the, both players actually realized oh. it. Uh, ah. Yeah. Cool. They're working Perfect. it out. All right, cool. No worries. So it would have been one extra damage there because of the no focus. And 
that's an easy solve there. All right. Now, as they continue here, I want to remind you that we have six rounds today. This is ju this is just the first one, everybody. Waking up nice and early. Plenty of X-wing for you today, and maybe a little mm -hmm. extra. And I think both both false transponders go away because the he, he did move red lock as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and uh, and and ping them there, Jonah. Let them know that the the red one goes because the red took a target lock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is round one, so like, uh, and, and like. We don't mean this offensively, but just as an understanding context, that is the recruit level. So, mm -hmm. um, but we aren't trying to heavy hand uh, the false transponder crows is a game state issue. Yeah, so exactly. We do like to correct those. Hit crit got rolled there. Mm hmm. No, some red long range. Two eyes. Hence the double rerolls. Got nothing. Uh, dead? Gone. Gone. Dead okay. and gone. Okay. Church so tech. We <laughs> we so could. like I said, the, our, our initial knee jerk of like, what? You should get, can't shoot at the full health while you're crazy. Uh, ended, up, ended up working out perfectly. You underestimate um, my power. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's what false transponder codes can do, though. Like, yep. once you... Once you start handing out those locks, really getting some modifying shots. I mean, the jam as well really helped out there. Was able to push through an extra damage, um, and the the questionable lock, right? The one that was like, well, you don't need to do the the double lock or the double false transponder codes, was the lock that got the kill as well. Yep, super powerful. I think that's uh, that momentum there. Uh, shifts dramatically in Andy's favor, was able to trade Rose 30 points, no big deal, for all of Tier Tech, uh, who cost 42. Now, um, as we get into this next planning phase, a couple of things need to be addressed here real quick. First, our table sponsor for today is Curled Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code RECRUIT21 for 21 percent off now really quickly the candid clarinetist uh try to call me out a little bit in the chat um asking me if i was a cubs fan or a Sox fan now i think i've told this story before um uh, baseball is my preferred sport um it's just one of those where i grew up a, a, a lot around it and the, the first part to the story is i am a chicago baseball fan but it is a 51 49 split 51 percent going to the white Sox. it's a complicated story and one uh th that a jedi would not tell you i will say that okay um and i think we could probably get to it in the next planning phase if you want to hear about it all right so uh let's let's keep going here score 64 to 58 andy still leading right now but able to being able to check if uh sorry being able to remove chertek off the board absolutely massive and these fireballs are in a position to give pursuit to Brewer Cret or Sunfock. Honestly, I think going after Sunfock might be easier uh, than going after Brewer after, after reassessing the game state here. And shout out to Danko Wiskin dropping another 10 subs, getting us to 165. You are mad, people. Mad. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Very much so. Very much so. The hype train getting out of the station early today. Choo choo. We, we very much appreciate it. Yeah, the I think the fireballs are in a great position here. If Andy's familiar with the like uh, maneuvering and slamming here, you should be able to get these fireballs in very interesting positions. Get them into good blocking spots, uh, into positions where to where it's really threatened with those dead man switches. Pink's a little uh limited also i mean he's got double stress and blinded so uh basically just a bomb flying around at this point with that dead man switch 
Ooh, it looks like we got a slam here. Will we see a talent roll? Nope. All right. All comes right. in. Uh, Green's hurt as well. Is he going to go for it? <laughs> he oh, is. Oh, come on. He's... Go for it. Go for it. You got, you got all three. You got multiple ships there. Go for it. Oh yeah, can, can, uh, be if able he reveals a uh, double direct, damage. Yes. <laughs> uh, I would have. I would have risked it. Would have risked it all. <laughs> would have been great. Um, but I mean, still, you're just like you just got to keep range one. Keep keep the pressure on, and uh, see how long they can uh, these separatists can go with out shooting you range one now. Yep, and we got we got a hard one there from the yellow fireball. Hard two from red. This one will be able to get an action. Yeah, he's lining up those tracer missiles. He's still got some. Yellow shot all of his. And yeah, we're just closing in here, setting up the kill box, whatever Nantex they can get. Grievous is stressed, so just gonna sit there. Was unable to complete his maneuver. So we'll still give him a shot onto red, which is nice. Brewer bumps into pink, who oh just went one forward. So has the option to tr uh, tractor barrel roll and rotate the arc to get a shot if he doesn't have one where he is. He's kind of sitting in the middle of the kill box here, so... <laughs> You might you need to figure something out. Ooh, might be trying to slip in between them to the Ooh, I like right. that. I like that, yeah, to his right. Slide to the right. Oh yeah. Chris so that was Crow. rotate forward and is gonna shoot pink. Who's also got a dead man switch? There you uh, go. <laughs> uh, which is gonna be which if he kills Pink. Oh my god! Oh, I want he'll, it! He'll die. Yes! He'll die. Pink <laughs> will kill Green, and Green will kill Chertek just outright. Uh, this is the power of those dead man switches. Uh, Pink's on three health. Though uh, the overlay, he's got two cards stacked up on each other, so he yeah. should only have two health remaining. Yeah, so with with Sunfock and uh, and <laughs> Brewer there, so under, understand the chain. So Pink dies, <laughs> does a dead man I, switch, I, I, gives I a damage, green. give go a ahead, damage to both Brewer and Sunfock, and the green fireball, which triggers another uh, another dead man dead switch, man. which then gives another damage to both Sunfock and Brewer Cret, which kills Brewer and leaves Sunny at one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and also I was laughing at it was uh, the green hand of Ryan here checking green, checking the de reading the dead man switch card, and then yep. looking to see if Pink has it too. Also reading that dead man switch card. He might um, he might just shoot choose not to shoot here. Honestly, I, it's crazy. Maybe it's crazy. <laughs> maybe it was one of them. Ah oh, man, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, because green's also on health, so not. A better situation. It's quite the puzzle. Um, uh, Andy is set up here, and that's what I mentioned before of like you, keeping all of the ones who are at full health or um, don't have dead man switches back, which is what he did. He's able to do that successfully, and then make sure that the ones with dead man switches are the ones who are going in for the blocks, the different engagements here. He's and doing it. He's doing a it. mad He's lad. It. He's doing it. Let's go. Oh, sad. Oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> Hit uh, me. Come on. Do it. Oh, Do it. He's looking, for, he's looking for two hits here. Do it for the stream. Ah, one, one crit. Oh, it can one happen. Hit. Come on, come on, come All on, right. come on, come on. Oh, double, double trouble, double trouble. Blank out. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. one out of the Do, box. Do it for the clips. Do it for the clips. Ah. There it is. Everyone's dead. <laughs> So he's gonna take hit crit. Uh, no, because he, he one rolled was, one squirrel. One was out of the box. Okay. I was looking at the chat and not the box. Yeah, no worries. Damage sensor array. A single crit left on one. <laughs> so two both dead man switches left on one. This is where you really want that uh, R5 TK to shoot your own ships. He's a red uh, range one shot. Grievous into the red. <laughs> Fireball and two hits. Why do I always stutter on that name? Fireball, 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 fireball. 
All right, and that's going to stick two more damage there, bringing that one down to half health. Oh, man, we were so close. I was so excited uh, to just see the uh, so much d destruction on those dead man switches. Uh, but the, the fireball's got a chance to retaliate now. Uh, who's your target? Is it is it Sunpack or is it Chertek? Because neither one have a pilot ability, right? So it's just... Did, did Pink have it? Arc? Do we know if Pink has the, the, the angle? Because I would fire uh, it with Pink first so. if you do. I can zoom in and check. I don't think he does, no. No? Okay. Oh, sor sorry, chat. We wanted it as well for you. Uh, Nano oh. Antonio... I know. Dropping. Bringing us to 198. You guys are crazy. I'm telling you. We are on the, we're on the doorstep of 200 in a single round. It is. It must has to be a record uh, on GSP. I'm telling you. Spends for two hits and gets nothing. Yeah, no, uh, no tracer missiles hitting there. Kaliana also gifted... As well, two more subs, which I think will hit our goal, Dion. <laughs> no, we did it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm round super, hasn't even been over. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy, but I'm stressed. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, we got more combat here. Blue Dewey shooting for two hits here. We'll see a Graviton deflection for a blank. Uh, so that's two damage in the sun fact. Uh, one health remaining on him, and we got more shots That's coming. Cool. And this was a range one shot. Here it comes. <laughs> and that's a hit crit. Mm -hmm. Sunfuck needs yes. two. He's got the deflection. Does he get it? No! No! Off the table, that's a 51 point ship gone. 115 73. Andy in the lead. Uh, who have we got left here? Pink and brown. No, pink says no work. Confirmed. Did brown shoot? It's brown's name. Scrooge. <laughs> I do love when people name their pilots because <laughs> it appears in the it appears in the log. Yes, absolutely. Which I really enjoy. All righty, got nothing there. No mons. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. What what is happening here? Something's loading. I think this is something for the lols. I'm expecting somebody. Uh, a, a dice came in. <laughs> oh, they stole the they stole the dice out of the box. You can actually change the colors of those. Um, I think in the regular mod, but y you can, yeah. Uh, you could also grab a bunch of them. <laughs> There's, um, man, I'll say that. So it looks like we're done. I will say that I sh I was showing tabletop simulator to like my normal gaming group of guys, and they're like, oh man. Uh, you can just do anything you want in this. I'm like, yeah, you're also a god, but have the intelligence of like a toddler. So be careful. <laughs> what, be careful of what you do. Right, like, exactly. They're like, oh, I'll just spawn a new table. I was like, don't do that. Do not do that. <laughs> just like, just that regular like hexagon table just appeared in the middle of uh, the mat we were playing on. I'm yep. like, oh my god, get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, you could just keep spawning tokens. And just like had just a huge pile of them. I was like, you're breaking the game. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> TTS so, is, a, is amazing. Now, uh, real, mean, quick, yeah. real quick here. I got to I gotta say a huge thank you to everybody who was part of that sub train to get us to 201 now um, in round one. Uh, Belinda Moots, <laughs> or, sorry, Isophane said it best. He says, <laughs> Dion, this is a stick up. <laughs> Empty the closet. <laughs> <laughs> and he's using he's using the Frank bl blasting emote in the chat. <laughs> All righty. I mean, yeah. I mean, at, at this point, 
Um, it's gonna. Oh my, see, you know what? I'm, I'm. I am super happy about the subs. I'm stressed about how I'm gonna be able to do all those giveaways, and get, get to the play. Like, pay attention to the admin stuff at the same time. But you know what? That's the challenge. That's okay. We got this. All right, so let's let's see here. What's a win condition for Ryan? He's got, you know, Grievous is at full health. Mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Grievous is at full um, health. If, Can he do some work here? I mean, I think there's, like, if you, uh, if you can wait to trigger those dead man switches on green and pink until they affect a lot of the friendly fireballs, you have a potential for a lot of splash damage onto them and can really weaken them overall. Um, so that I think that's your out, is that you just need to time your attacks on green and pink just perfectly to disrupt and do as much damage as possible. Grievous has the, the three sloop, um, probably either way if you wanted it right now. Mm -hmm. So I imagine that's where we're going. He could also just hard one and then dare double, uh, like hard one left and then dare yeah. double. So he's, he's got like, he, he's in this fight. He's not taken off. I assume. Uh, he, we'll see if Brewer can sneak out of here. Look like Pink's going for that block. I mean, you're blind. You can only take focus actions. Yep. And you're at one health. Uh, and yeah, a dead man switch just primed and ready to go. So, <laughs> <Heart me>. uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, we did see uh, red was able to get the focus there. Yellow just bumped. Grievous was able to sloop the sloop. Very beautiful. And a 5K from Brewer. All right. Also wanted uh, a good shot here, and he will, but pff, that shot's on a dead man switch one. Mm-hmm. So he's taking it. Won't kill him. Uh, but it does have the bullseye with predator here, so good, good chance to get some damage. Uh, never mind. Single reroll and ends up nil. Ooh. Nada. Ooh. Denied. Ooh, that is... Bad. Oh man, F's in the chat for sure. Big oofs. Yeah, streamer curse for sure. Should not have <laughs> the math is right though. Uh, the math says he gets two or three easy. I don't know what to tell you about that. Uh, the math also says there. there is a low chance that that happens. It just so <laughs> happens that uh, that Ryan Ryan is is hitting those low percentage shots right now. You know. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the risk reward you take with these rerolls. I do love his list. Like grievous rerolls, gravitic deflection rerolls, predator rerolls. Just let's roll some dice. Uh, but that that's it's inconsistent though. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll have those uh, rerolling blanks and eyeballs situation. Looks like we're going after the thread tracer carrier here. Huey, three dice coming in. Only a single hit. Got two. And it looks like you're going to be able to stick one. Mm. He's so, yep. yeah, I'm taking it. He's got one. Yeah, he wants to hold on the, to that. Yeah, she, yeah, take your one damage. Shoot your last thread tracer. Like, let's, let's get it. The, the dead man switch didn't do the extra damage. So now you, uh, well, pink's blinded, I guess. So it can't benefit from that tiger lock, but. You know, you do what you can. No, the uh, so no rerolls here, no range bonus. Oof. And that's the second tracer that hits for just one. Doesn't hit this time. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like, I like. He's trying to set up the target locks for later on, um, but but at the same time, part of me is like. Man, just take those primary shots. He's already he's already pretty weak. But I mean, I get yeah, it. I know what you're saying. I get it. You could, you, yeah, it's it's a resource, and that is a good chance to use it here. But 
Well, that's okay, because yellow, or excuse me, this was blue, do it, getting hit crit. And that's going through. Oh. Hey, crit. Boom. Boom. And uh, what do we get here? It's a fuel leak. Living on a prayer now. Yep. Uh, fuel leak doesn't mean much. But we still have yellow shooting here. Going to be the last shot of the round, I think. Got only one hit and is safe. Four minutes and change left in the round. Andy only a few minutes away from being able to lock down this first round of the Recruit Championship. One of the things we've been talking about as well is, you know, with these players, you know, being, you know, this, uh, this group of people who got anywhere from zero to two wins is... Um, the, the fact that there's going to be players today that find success in a way that they never have before, right? There's going to be a player potentially that, you know, got one win and ends up going 5-1 and one or 6-0 and oh today, which I think is amazing. You know, I think, yeah, we'll I think that's absolutely amazing. Today. Yeah. And, like, I mean, it's always a strange, it's, it's a strange context because, obviously, we love all the re recruit players. Like, we're glad we can give them this chance to uh you know be in a tournament but mm -hmm. uh like it's not that they're <laughs> just wanna, as a blanket statement that we do not believe these players are bad they just haven't got wins in x wing before that may mm -hmm. be because they're inexperienced maybe they took a risk with their um like a self-cured list um that they wanted to see be successful so they're not bad players. Like right. we assume exactly. that they're good, right? If you if you are so enthusiastic about X Wing that you went out and got tabletop simulator and are playing in online events, we assume you know like what's going on at exactly. least, right? Yep. Like you're clearly jazzed about X Wing. So like we um like to see them successful. But I do agree, there is a chance that there is somebody who never has won a game in a tournament before. Mm -hmm. We'll get, you know, five and one, six and oh, we'll be in the cut yep. after never winning a game. I think that's what, at some point, I want to uh, put a feeler out and I want to be like, uh, people who qualified at, with zero wins, so like 0 oh and 4 in mm -hmm. the qualifier, right? Those are the people I want to keep a track on to be yep. like, how, 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 are, they how doing? are you doing? Did you get your win? Did you get your win? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, are you in the cut now all of a sudden? Like, I think it will be some very interesting stories to be yep. told. And I think that's that's part of the, the goal with, uh, if, you do, if you don't know, uh, now with Gold Squadron events, when you sign up, you are given a Gold Squadron ID. So one of the things we plan on using it for first, it, it makes it really easy for us to ship items with your Gold Squadron ID. That was the first purpose of it. But the the secondary purpose is is just like you said, Will. We can uh, we can take a look at community growth. We can reach out to players, uh, see where we are. And one thing, this again, this is for the future. I, I don't want to spoil too much of my ideas in the back of my head, but I kind of want to. Um, create uh, a couple of exhibition style events that are flight club style esque, saying like, okay, this weekend's event is for recruits only. And what do I mean by recruits? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. historical recruits, right? So I have the data. Basically, if you're on this list, you're eligible for this. You're eligible to play. All right, and and doing. I like uh, that. And being able to try to cultivate player skill within their own, um, you know, within uh, their own uh, kind of closed community, and then in the mm -hmm. larger open events where everybody gets to play, that is where we get our data from, right? And where we can move those events around. I got, I got a lot of different ideas to do with that, and just trying to continue to build community and keep people motivated. Excited about that. Very excited. Um, 
Uh, additionally, one thing that we're doing is uh, I told the recruits this during the player meeting, and if you're a vet or an ace in the chat, maybe you'll be upset about this. But hey, whatevs, that that's okay for the re for the recruits. Uh, they're gonna actually gonna get a little extra something something in their uh, their swag bag, their shipment uh, coming up here as long as they play, regardless of their score, as long as they play at least five games today. All right, at least five games. Lord of Britannia, what about new players? I mean, you you're you're correct, but it, you gotta. There's a balance here, right? So, for instance, I'll give you an example. Duncan Howard, right? Our good friend Duncan Howard has not had an opportunity yet to play in a TTS event, right? So, um, he, I'm not gonna put him in a recruit event because. It's Duncan Howard. He's really good at X-Wing. You know, he's been busy saving the world uh, as, as a nurse. Been, been a little busy for X-Wing. But, um, you know, just just for reference there. So are there, are there some logistics to work out? Sure. But I, let's let's sweat the little stuff, uh, you know, not, or not sweat the little stuff, and we'll figure out the rest for everybody else. You know, we got this. Uh, yeah, getting back to the game here, Brewer Cret, utilizing that pinpoint tractor, Ray was able to barrel roll off of pink here. Arc dodging uh, red and potentially setting up gas cloud obstructions for brown and yellow. So it has actually a good out here to not uh, die this round. Um, as long as he doesn't shoot pink, who's got that dead man switch still. Don't shoot pink. <laughs> Don't do it. All right. Was, uh, <laughs> he spooked me with putting up that arc. Oh, he is going for pink. No, that's the dead man switch one. You will kill yourself. Here we go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the brew is like, stop shooting my guns. Stop it. <laughs> uh, rolls uh, blank eyeball eyeball there. No damage to be done. Yeah, it looks like. Joan Grievous here going for the kill. Mm -hmm. All the other ones in front of him are at mostly full health. So going for red here. Who has to spend the focus to live. All right. And... Uh... Uh, I'm just, I'm just saying. Uh, I just, I just want to want to put a couple people on blast. People are like, "What about me?" If if you're if you're what about meing in the chat about something nice I'm doing for somebody else? Mm, not a good look. I'm just saying, not a good look. We, we will today, care you today guys. is if you want to play in a tournament, we will get you a tournament. Don't you worry, guys. <laughs> like, let's let us know. We will get you in. Right. Um, right. I'm just saying, like, I, I'm talking about the recruits today, and people are like, but what about the vets and the aces? I'm like, today's not about you. Man. Man. <laughs> Calm it down, yo. Calm Don't it down. It. I'm just <laughs> saying, I'm getting a little triggered right now, just a little bit. I, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, I, speaking of getting triggered, I'm getting triggered with all these blanks They refuse. Really? Brewer <laughs> Cret refuses to die. Just... No one's going to put out any damage. I'm so sad. I wanted explosions. With wings. I didn't see him. This one hit. Gas cloud. Davidic deflection. That's not going to do any damage. No, not today. So Brewer risked his own life by shooting pink and right. still is alive. <laughs> He's like, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it myself. <laughs> All right. Here's the next fireball. Blue fireball going into Brewer Cret. Try, trying to get this last hit ball out. Hit ball. Hit hit point. Hit wow. Sorry. I'm thinking about <laughs> baseball still, apparently, in my head. And no damage. Hit ball coming to the United States 2025. Um. Nothing there. I mean, that's that's the game. One fifteen to seventy three. Congratulations to Andy. Thanks. And he gets a yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree, uh, Kellyana. No dead fireballs. All the fireballs survived. <laughs> <laughs> Only <Don't> Rose. <laughs> Rose ate it, but like, uh, that was super well flown. Congratulations. Uh, to very good, Andy. very good. The, the resistance has a chance in Andy. Okay. Oh, and 
and also also the Pope Ace Flyers. <laughs> Look at the, dis the disrespect I mean, there. I mean,